This is to demonstrate the Focal 100 integrated GNSS navigation system. For this demonstration, we prepared a flight from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport to Düsseldorf. We will make an RNF GPS approach, runway 23 right. This is a navigation status display. On top, you will see the track deviation indicator. The line below that shows the navigation mode. In this case, FMC2 uses GNSS2. The line below that shows the actual navigation performance. In this case, ANP is 0.05 nautical mile. RMP1 indicates the required navigation performance. For this flight phase, the required navigation performance is 1 nautical mile. It is possible to select manually RMP.3, which is indicated with a blue RMP.3. For the takeoff, we prepared a departure from runway 24 with an Arnhem 1 Sierra departure. This departure is defined as initially runway track course 239 up to waypoint Echo Hotel 005, then a left turn to intercept course 119er to waypoint Echo Hotel 008. The takeoff clearance is received. Takeoff. Eighty. V one rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Nav is captured. Climb trust. Level change. We are passing now Waypoint Echo Hotel 005, initiating the left turn. And as you can see, the track deviation indicator is now indicating right because we are intercepting course 119er from the left. We are established now on the course 119er. Okay, we are approaching now 30 mile distance from the airport of departure. At 30 miles, the required navigation performance will change from 1 to 2. We're 30 miles now. And the RMP flashing two now for a short moment, indicating that it changed from one to two.
We are established now in a holding pattern over the point RDM. The next item for this demonstration is a failure of the GNSS2 system. GNSS2 fails now, which is initially indicated by a flashing amber no GNSS2 NAV flag. And the system reverts to IRS only navigation. As you may have observed, this does not cause a map shift on the navigation display. The next demonstration is a no ring message, indicated by a flashing no amber no ring flag, indicating that the integrity of the GNSS system is not guaranteed anymore. The required action for this is switch back to either IRS only or radio navigation. In the very unlikely event that the actual navigation performance exceeds the required navigation performance, an Ember Enable RMP flag will be shown. The required navigation performance is now 2, indicated by a green RMP2, which means that it's automatically selected. Full scale of the track deviation indicator corresponds to 2 nautical miles. At any moment, I can select manually RMP1, indicated by a blue RMP1, and full scale corresponds now to 1 nautical mile, or RMP. Point three, indicated by a blue RMP point three, full scale it corresponds now to point three nautical mile. The next demonstration will be an RNF GPS approach, runway two three right from Düsseldorf. The arrival and the approach are defined in the FMS database. We just passed the initial approach fix Bottrop at 3000 feet. On the FMS approach page I insert the MBA 620 feet and I confirm the final approach prompt. This arms the VNAV part of the approach. On the navigation status display, it is shown RMP1. RMP1 is required for the terminal phase. We are approaching now 1.5 miles from the runway. As you can see, RMP.3 is flashing, which means that we are transiting to RMP point 3. Returning now to the final course. Changing the navigation display to 1.5 miles. As we are approaching Regno, we select now Flaps 8. Selected speed is now reduced to green dot minus 10. The 
appear is selected down. In approaching rig now, select now flaps 25, our final approach flap setting. Speed is reduced to VMA plus 5. And the descent is initiated. Missed approach altitude, 4000 feet, is set. The minimum is 620 feet. Approaching minimum. Minimum, go around. Flaps zero. Positive rate, gear up. I select NAV and PROF. Climb selected. And the RMP changes now to RMP1, indicated initially by a flashing green RMP1. Capturing missed approach altitude. And turning right now to intercept the required track back to the initial approach fix. The next demonstration is an ILS approach, runway 23 right, Dusseldorf. This approach is flown in heading mode, following radar vectors from ATC. At the moment, the localizer is intercepted at localizer capture. The track deviation indicator on the navigation status display will be removed. Right turn, heading 190, cleared approach. Lots of localizer is armed. Flaps 8. Localize the capture. Track deviation indicator is removed from the navigation status display.